live from the bunker. I just wanted to let you know, we're having a little bit of a technical difficulties tonight, and we're not going to be able to stream the final table of the I-35 Cup, where someone's going to walk out of here with a big sandwich of $115,000 for first place. What we will do is we will provide live updates on my Instagram throughout the night. So follow me on Instagram at Slick Rick Lodge. That's at Slick Rick Lodge. And we'll provide those live updates throughout the night. Thanks for watching. Just play tight as right and pick my spots and win first. That's it. Well, you know the whole Lodge community is rooting for you, so good luck tonight. Thank you. Skyler from, I believe, the Corpus Christi area? Yeah, I actually just moved to San Antonio, but originally Corpus. So Skyler, seven million in chips, definitely not a short stack, not the big stack either. Your thoughts and strategy going in? Uh, I'm just gonna come in, try to play my game, try to make a few pay jumps and see if we can get this money. Absolutely, and 115,000 up top, is there anything special that you do with that money? Uh, I'll probably just find more places to gamble. <laughs> Sounds like a good one. Good luck, Skyler. Thank you. I mean, it's super exciting. Um, I think I've played really well the last few days. Also, you know, had plenty of run good and uh, just hoping I can get some cards, play them well, and uh, give the Lodge a chance to win this one. Yeah, 8.2 million, you're right there, uh, right behind the chip leader who has got about 13 million, way above some of the smaller stacks. And you think you're going to try to take advantage of the smaller stacks when you can? Yeah, I mean, I think definitely that's a strategy when you have a big stack, you know, I need to be aggressive and put myself in a position to have, um, you know, a healthy stack when we get down to the final two, three, four players. Good luck. Thanks, Rick. Let's get it going. And JJ, uh, you, you play primarily at rounders? Yes. Okay. What would you do with the 115,000? Do you have any big plans if you were to bink the tournament? Nothing big. <laughs> Nothing big. <laughs> any, you know, being one of the short stacks, how are you, what, what, what do you think, what are your thoughts going into the final table as far as, are you going to look for certain spots? And... You just pick my spots carefully. Okay. Good luck, JJ. Thank you. It's the launch. There we go. So he's got about 3.9 million in chips going in the final table. Your thoughts and what your strategy is going to be? Um, well, my strategy is to catch cards and run it up. My thoughts are uh, happy to have made it to the final table. And I just want to say thanks to all the staff at the Lodge. They run a great tournament. It's the best club in Texas for sure. And um, I'm going to need to catch some cards and play well. 115,000 up top. Any plans if you if you beat the tournament? <laughs> if I beat the tournament, um, no plans. I need to fix my broken windshield. So. Okay, I think you can do that right now. <laughs> Thank you. Good luck. Uh, still a lot of work to be done. We're just getting started here, guys. And are, you know, with three million of chips, you're not the short stack, but you're definitely not the big stack. Uh, are you going to uh, look for different spots to to force your way? Yeah, I, I got to pick my spots. Uh, it's going to be tough because uh, I'm. I'm probably six to one on a couple of these chip stacks so it, it's gonna get tough and what is your home poker club that you play at rounders card house awesome good luck to you thanks uh, i came in second in chips and i wanted to play solid poker i had three other players from rounders that i knew how they played so i knew those guys weren't getting crazy so i just had to get the basics on the other players how they were playing and now we're in the final table and we'll see how we play going on the final table george has about six point nine five thousand chips six point about six million chips yeah. good luck george and hey there's 115,000 up top well, we're going for that 115 take it back home all right thank you and what are your thoughts going into the final table man i'm just i'm feeling so good right now uh, i i didn't expect to even make it this far i've been kind of riding an average stack this whole tournament um just hanging in there and grinding picked up a couple you know lucky spots got it in and just been running good feeling good and uh, i got some high hopes right now so what do you think about playing at the lodge mahal I love it. This place is great, you guys. I highly recommend it to anybody. Uh, I'm actually going to be moving up here January 3rd, so I'm going to be a regular here at the Lodge. Uh, you guys can all come see me. I play a lot of the cash games uh, here at, at Rounder, so yeah. I'll be spending a lot of time up here at the Lodge and a lot of good folk, and uh, the people running the place are just amazing, and I uh, absolutely love it here. Good luck, Jeremy. Thank you.
Jonathan is eliminated in sixth place for 22,500 when his ace king ran into Skyler's pocket sevens. Board brought no ace or, or a king. And Jonathan uh, Morell uh, goes out in sixth place for $22,500. Players are on a 15 minute break right now. Five remain, folks. Five remain. Next stop, $30,000. I'm good, baby. I mean, these type of games are typically broadcast on shows like Poker After Dark, you know, you know those big name shows, and we have it here at Rounders. If you guys are if you guys are new to this live stream, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We have a lot of really big action packed games. We just need the eyes on it, so for sure, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button.